So this is my sprite library. Right now, it's showing me all sorts of different things. I can scroll through it right here and pull this down, and I can see all the things it's got. And it's got butterflies and dinosaurs and scuba guys and foxes and uh, beetles and mouses and basketballs and bananas and drums and buttons and checkboxes and carpets and lightings and computers and oranges and suns and even wizard hats. So a lot of things. It's kind of overwhelming the amount of stuff that they have. Well, that's because they're showing me all of the sprites they have. But I can use this right here, this menu, to sort which sprites I'm looking at. So if I click animals, it's going to only show me animals. If I click all, it's going to go back and show me all those things again. If I click fantasy, it's just going to show me all the characters to do with fantasy, like dragons and ghosts and ghouls and gigas. What's a giga and a gobo? I don't know what gigas and gobos are, but pretty cool. Uh, people and things and transportation, which is like horses and airplanes. And then they have ones that are like themes that castles and like everything that would go with a castle. Like you've got a princess and a wizard hat and anything that would go in a city. These all go together, flying, music and dance. So if you're gonna make like a music game, you could use all these guys, space. So they got their spaceships and their aliens, very cool. So this shows me all the different types and even shows me a bitmap and vector, which we're not gonna cover yet the differences between those things. Right now, just focus on these and go through and look through all the sprites that you guys have available to use in your own games. Go look through these now.